And let's talk, uh, we remain with the Douala Urban Council. As a United Bank for Africa, UBA has granted a loan worth 7 billion CFA francs to the Douala Urban Council. The funds are meant to acquire the necessary equipment for road construction and rehabilitation works. Only Ladonet and Julepo on that beat. 7 billion CFA francs is a loan signed to the Douala City Council by the United Bank for Africa. These funds will be used for the acquisition of machineries and other public works equipment so as to construct roads and carry out other developmental activities in the economic capital Douala. The state of our roads are in a deplorable state due to the fact that the road control lacks sufficient tools. So the small potholes, which he rightly mentioned, these chalk holes later turn out to be rot and it's inevitable. Because when we don't have the finance to fix them when it's small, it will definitely enlarge itself. These are the funds we are acquiring. If you want roads to last long, we need to intervene as early as possible when it starts degrading. The loan, which is the second of its kind, brings the council's debt to over 10.2 billion CFA francs, as the first worth 3.2 billion has been signed on March 4, 2021. The first part is, in terms of this financing, was to pay off compensation to those that are affected you know, when the infrastructure will be done. The second part we are doing is to acquire the assets that will be used to execute this road uh, construction and maintenance projects. And, of course, after that, you can then go into the execution and uh, acquisition of material to help you execute all the roads and stuff like that. So there's full and proper control uh, for this particular phase. Uh, which is entirely for acquisition of equipment uh, for this road maintenance and road construction. And the monies will go direct to all the suppliers. This project will commence immediately after these materials are bought. Si on tient compte des délais dans la livraison des équipements, if we are to take into consideration deadline for the equipment's delivery and the implementation of certain actions, I think we should wait for the end of the rainy season, that is by October, to see the first works. It won't be any faster because a lot has to be done for the meantime. We have signed this loan agreement and from here we will launch the call for specialized suppliers and you all know how long this can take. The loan agreement has been signed on Wednesday, August 17, 2022.